Coming to the capacity planning, this was out of scope, okay, but still we are doing. Uh, so under the capacity planning, from PP point of view, uh, like I mentioned, we could not do a lot of things, okay. We can control to a certain level, but we cannot say that capacity is 100% achievable from PP point of view. If it was, there was no uh, option of PPDS, there was no option of APO in the market. Right. Why they came in picture? Because they are the one who are having more um, logic, more, uh, they call it as a heuristic. Okay. So here, whatever we are doing manually, they have heuristics, which can execute the capacity leveling in much detailed way, rather than PP can do it. Right. So whatever we can achieve through PP, we can discuss that in today's session. So in capacity planning, uh, we have few prerequisites to be maintained. Okay, so transaction codes are available. And where do we maintain in the config level is I have mentioned over here. Okay, so wherever you see green, okay, is what we need to maintain. And here we have the overall profile, which has other profiles also. And this is something which also uh, is part of your APO or PPDS. So whenever we are doing PPDS or APO, you need to define all of these as well, okay? So first of all, let us go in the system and see. So we have used the current order type. So I have already configured ran a session so that I can uh, say it is working fine. Okay, so we have production, <clears throat> under production we have capacity requirement planning, under capacity labeling, here we have the profiles which I have mentioned over here, okay. Here you have period profile, strategy profile, evaluation, time, control, selection and everything goes in the overall profile. So I have also created one of my uh, overall profile which is custom. So why it is custom, we can discuss about that. But let us go through the configuration which we need to do from the uh, order type level and those things, okay. So we'll close this and go to shop for control. So here we are doing first in the production scheduling profile, actually it is written as parameter, it is production scheduling profile and then in the availability check also. So this is availability check. So in the availability check we have done for the material components only, right? If I go to the scope of check, not here, checking control. So we have during creation, during release, right? Here I have maintained the capacity availability. So this is required the very first point to trigger a check if your order has enough capacity on those work centers or not, okay? So we have been doing this material availability first so far, but we also need to maintain the capacity which was blank. Okay, here I have created a custom uh, overall profile just now I mentioned. So what is custom here? Why do I need to create a custom that I will discuss uh, in some, some time? Okay, so first is order control where you need to maintain. Then scheduling parameters is not required. One minute, here.
this is not my order type. Seventeen ten three eight yeah. Okay, over here you should have a check mark on the generate capacity requirements. So if you already have a check mark, but you still don't have a profile in the availability checking rule or the uh, availability check what we have seen, okay, under the order control, then again, it will work, but it will not check the capacity for you because uh, through the availability check, we trigger the component checks. If my component is available in enough quantity or not. Similarly, there will be a check for the capacity if it, it is available or not. But if you don't maintain either of these, the prerequisites, the trigger points are not controlled in a uh, in the manner which is required by the system. Okay. So we have done all this configuration, but through the capacity point of view, whatever we need to do, we are going to discuss over here. So once you have done this availability check, okay. Overall profile, this is the check what we have done. Scheduling log is required, but I don't think so. A lot of things are coming up through this, but only uh, if I want to see any logs, then it is required. Okay, this is in the same screen here only. So I can just open any one of these. This is the log. This we have just done order control. Okay. At the work center level, what we need. <clears throat> so we'll go over there. This is from the master data. So we have Maruti 1 and Maruti 2. Right. So this is already maintained for us machine. Okay. Under the machine, we have this relevant to finite scheduling check mark. This should be available. If you don't uh, put a check mark relevant to finite scheduling, this will be again uh, not doing the capacity for you because it will treat as unlimited. Similarly, if you have two work centers, so we had Maruti 1 and Maruti 2, we both have a check mark on the relevant to finite scheduling. Okay. Under the routing, we already have maintained the standard value keys. We already have a control key, which is having CRP activated. Okay. Capacity requirement planning is activated. So we'll go to the routing, CA03, material, it was Maruti. So I have PI01 as my control key. Sorry, PP01, right? Yeah. PI01 is for my process industry. So if I go to detailed information, I have the scheduling which was required and detailed capacity requirement. Okay. If you have a check mark on here, that particular operation where the work center is assigned will be applicable for my capacity check. Okay. If there is any constraint, if it is having an overload, we'll get the information when we are uh, creating the order from the pan order. Okay that uh, enough capacities are available or if there is any issue with the capacity uh, those things we can see 
so here i would like to change this to pp03 in the end Harshin, work center we are assigning. So, where were we? Mm -hmm. So, I, I showed you the control key. It should have a check mark on the capacity. Okay. If we are wanting to do capacity planning. <clears throat> so, once you have done with uh, configuration master data, this is another configuration which I will not go in details, but I can discuss a few things on that. Once you go in the production, you go in the capacity. <clears throat> Here you go to the leveling, okay? Because this is required for the leveling purpose. Here you have control profile, you have selection profile, time profile. <clears throat> so if you go to the control profile, there are standard profiles which are available. Some things are available for uh, plant and maintenance. There are for some MRP but we are not using that, okay? Here we are using the capacity check because we are checking if it is available or not, okay? There are so many details which you can go and explore inside that. Here you have this number four, which is available from standard that what you are doing initially, you are doing a capacity availability check, just like material availability check, okay? under this particular profile then you go to this election profile here you have selection this okay so whatever we are triggering we are triggering through the capacity availability check only we are not doing leveling, we are not doing right now anything. These are only about the checks. So whatever is available through the standard, we have tried to utilize that. Under the time profile, <clears throat> it will depend upon, again, forward and backward, how many days, how many years you want to consider the planned orders which are created in the system. So on based upon that, what will be your availability, what will be your capacity that you can consider. So here you have uh, three years, one years, three months, all are these from standard. You can also create your customized, okay, if you want to do that. So here what we have utilized is SAP Z6. Here you have entry in the evaluation as in if you're evaluating how many days or years or weeks you want to go those data can be configured here easily so based upon number of days then you maintain the days here if you're maintaining year you will maintain one two or three like those values okay if it is in uh, days format it will be always number of days considered in these values but i can show you something which is of a year okay so we'll take it as a year here you can see number of years and they have maintained one three like that months 136 so you can you you can see that this is calculating for three years okay it is considered that if i have any data any uh, planned orders which are coming under those three years i will consider them for my uh, capacity so time profile will give you the flexibility of considering the data which is if you put minus that means it will go in the backward okay in the past and consider all the plan orders and if you put numbers that will be of your future so evaluation again we have this three point d which is evaluating your uh capacity okay and this will be showing me in cm21 transaction
and then we have strategy this is the main uh, turning point okay so strategy profile we have that what you want to do if you want to do a leveling so you have evaluated you have considered your times that i want to consider so many days or so many years of plan orders i have considered this election okay now everything i have done how do i level those what is my strategy how do i want to control it <laughs> excuse me so here we have let me see what we have used in the overall profile so we have used finite scheduling forward slash total capacity load okay sap smt001 <clears throat> this one so here you have this complete options that what you want to do finite scheduling we know if my overloads are there i want to consider either pushing the orders in the backward okay or if i want to do in the forward so that direction will be considered from my strategy profile okay <clears throat> if you are putting change planning direction if you want to do it in real time you can do manually also if you want system to plan it you can put a check mark on here okay so like i mentioned ppds or apo will be also using the strategy profile where they are going to use these options okay from pp point of view we can control to a certain limit but not exactly because that does not have capacity oh, sorry capability okay overall capacity load that means whatever is the load available in my system i want to consider completely dispatch sequence so we know that we are dis, uh, dispatching the operations so if i have an operation uh, from one of my plan orders or production orders and also the second uh, plan order is created in the same dates okay on the same week now they both either can do if you have enough capacity but if you are have